Easy Twist ties. We've talked about them so many times, but we're gonna take this just a little bit further today. One, you can get them in a T-post. Number two, you can get them in various pipe sizes. Also, hey, hintful fact, if you reach out to us and you're in need of some, you can have them made to a custom size. The standard sizes for these are inch and three eighths, inch and five eighths, inch and seven eighths, two and three eighths, two and seven eighths, and four inch. That's the standard. If you have a custom size and you're in, need, you're in need of a lot of them, they can be done, they can be made. So I'm gonna just put it over the link there in the chain link. I'm gonna count out my next one. All right, so now I have all my ties on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this and I'm gonna set my chain link to where it's supposed to be. And as soon as that looks good. So I got one tied and it is allowing the chain link to stay held up. And that's just with one tie and I gotta put six of these on here. They're really nice for being able to hold your chain link up for you. They're a lot tighter, they grab tighter compared to a stick, uh, stick tie and I don't have any stick ties, so I can't even compare a race of how long it would take to tie one of these versus a stick tie. But I would honestly think that we could do this whole post to one stick tie. So that is an, an enormous amount of time that we're saving. Sure, they cost a little bit more, but you're saving more time and they're a lot more secure. You have to match the tool with the gauge of the tie. So this is a nine gauge tie tool. They also make 11 gauge. So if you're gonna tie an 11 gauge tie, you need to have the 11 gauge tie tool. Uh, make, sure and, make sure and see all the links below if you're looking for any of this stuff. We're just gonna make sure that our drill is on gear one. When this oblonged hole is vertically straight up, that is when that tie will slide all the way in. You pull the trigger and it'll twist it all up. It'll twist it, and then as soon as it gets to it gets to X amount of point, it'll trim off the tail. As much as I love Klein nines, I'm not about ready to go back to tying fence ties with pliers and half wrapping around. These are so much more secure than any other tie out there. I can push on the chain link. I'm actually gonna damage the chain link and ruin it before I can even think about breaking that tie. When you're on a super long run of chain link, if you stretch every 200 feet and you're not stretching at a terminal, what you can do is you can actually tie to two posts and then let off your stretching device at that point and those ties will hold your chain link, the tension on the chain link for everything behind you so that you can continue running all your fence out. It's just another easy way to install chain link, that's another easy way to tie it and make it more secure. We are Wyoming's Fence and Gate Company, and you have a good dang day.